guys, I've got a really exciting video for you today. This unassuming building behind me is home to MEM, or Modular Elevator Manufacturing. That's right, they actually make elevators in here, and I've been invited inside to take a look at the process. So buckle up and follow me inside. Here we are, I'm Tom Shield, and I'm the, the president of Modular Elevator Manufacturing. Welcome to Modular Elevator Manufacturing. And uh, you know, Modular Elevator is just a conventional elevator, unconventionally delivered. When we deliver our elevator to the job site, uh, and we set that elevator, it's generally about 90, 95% complete. And you have probably anywhere from three to five, six days to complete the elevator and have it ready for inspection. But uh, welcome to Modular Elevator Manufacturing and I hope that you and your, your audience finds this interesting. Thank you very much. So what's a modular elevator? A modular elevator is an elevator that's built at a facility, all pre-manufactured, which is built horizontally instead of vertically, like a conventional elevator. Okay. And um, it's built under a controlled environment. Right. So the first step of an elevator, we build a structural steel hoistway. Uh, a conventional elevator, the hoistway is built within the building. As you right. construct the building, you're making the hoistway for the elevator, right? You're just leaving the hole, and then afterward, you're putting in the, the structural backing, all that stuff as you go along. But we do everything here. This is the first section of the production. So this is where we will. And once the first wall is done, we go into what's called the rotator. So we can rotate the whole structure. Look at that, it's rotating around. So this rotator allows us to still work horizontally on the other. Oh, okay. So we, we work on the lower section so we can flip it. Oh, okay. So we're welding every section together and we're rotating. Right. And then when you want to work on another side, just yeah. so rotate you work, it. You work on, on the side that's down below. Oh, so that would be that side. Yeah, the bottom section. Yeah. So everything that we do is with jigs. We don't measure things with tape measures. Right. So all those little sticks on the wall there are all jigs at predetermined dimensions. Mm -hmm. And so we set things based on how that jig fits, fits, and then we squeeze everything up to those. Okay. So this is a step further. So this is, would be the third step. And what we do is we drywall both the inside and outside of the hoist. Uh, Standard is one hour rated, but when you're over three stories, then uh, the enclosure needs to be regularly two hour rated. Uh, so one hour rated hoistway means one layer of drywall on the inside and one layer of drywall on the outside. Two hour rated means two layers of drywall on the inside and two layers of drywall on the outside. So what you see here also, you see these studs, studs and those panels, which are essentially which, what you're seeing here. So we have these assembled um, off-site, and I, and I kind of call this a little bit parallel manufacturing, where we have this component prepped, we create the base that it goes in, we just bring them 
put them in place, screw them in, and then we're ready for, for the drywall. So as, as you can see, we also install the door frames and the doors at every landing. Right. So the elevator, the hoist already comes with its landing doors. Uh, uh. When you were building a conventional elevator, you build it, you install the doors on site. Yeah. That's not the case. The elevator is different. Do you see those? Those are like the, the shoes of the elevator. This is dropped in within the pit. The right. It has um, anchor bolts that are embedded into the concrete, and the elevator drops in and catches those anchor bolts. Right. And then is basically just bolted to the to the to the ground. And there has to be a a, di a certain distance from the uh, bottom of the pit to the first landing. Yeah. Our elevator is four feet. feet. Right. So we crane the whole structure at the job site, drop in the first section, drop in the second section, mm. and then we bolt them together. Right. So we're, the ladder is already in place. Yeah. We do all the electrical. We, you'll see more of that. Yeah. So pretty much everything is done here besides installation. We, we When that elevator is delivered and set on site, uh, we're pretty much 90-95% complete. So, how many positions do people play here? We have welders, we have people that uh, do the drywall, the, the people that put together the cabs and the elevator doors. What you see here are the pre-manufactured cabs. We, we like to say that our elevator is built like a tank. Mm. It's the most robust elevator out in the industry. Galvanil steel walls. And then uh, we install, we have different, like, thousand different types of uh, options for the high-pressure laminates mm. built inside the cab and our standard lighting. But we could customize the interior of the cab or we could also do like a complete stainless steel cab interior. So this is for what we saw out there. So that's going to go with that. Oh, here's one of the doors that's already so been installed. Already has the doors installed. So this is the cab door. You know that elevator have two sets of doors? Yeah, you have the landing door, door and then you have the cab door. So this already has the cab door. Something. Uh, an opportunity that you don't... Have you ever walked down a hoistway before? I have never walked <laughs> down a hoistway. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. So, if you like, you can go ahead and... Uh, uh, walk down this this hoistway, if you would. Uh, if, if would you like to do that? Really, I would love to. Okay. Let's just have the guys move so that he doesn't get hurt. So if you can, where you see a seam like this, right? Try to walk on that seam. Okay. All right, because that's where there's studs. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Look out, Juan. Coming through. Good morning.
<laughs> so this is a two-section elevator, and uh, here in our shop we marry them together before we send them out to the job site to make sure that everything aligns. Just like we saw. Yeah, but the... those are already married together. Right, These. this is an even later stage Correct. of development. Yeah, there we can see the elevator car is inside of the shaft. That's the bottom of the elevator car. Okay, so the other side would be the top. Correct. This is the pump unit for the elevator that we're talking about. This whole container gets filled up with hydraulic fluid. And you can see the submersible pump down there. Then the submersible pump pushes the hydraulic fluid into the elevator jack, which right. is down below the elevator within the pit. Well, that was a really great experience. Thank you for taking me on that. You're welcome. And that is Modular Elevator Manufacturing. On the next episode of Beckett's Elevator Adventures, after seeing the manufacturing process firsthand, I head down to Orange, California to check out a fully installed and operational MEM elevator. You're gonna wanna see this one, so check back soon. Thanks for watching. Hey.